When you hear the term African-American literature, what first comes to mind? The term may conjure canonical names such as Frederick Douglass, Booker T. Washington, W.E.B. Du Bois, Mary Church Terrell, Ida B. Wells, Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston, Alice Walker, the late, great Toni Morrison, Colson Whitehead, or countless other names. But why do you suppose those writers fit into the category of African-American literature and not only American literature? Now, the answer to that question is so much more complex than simply because they're African-American. The exciting evolution of African-American literature was born from within an oppressive, racist, xenophobic, and gender-based evolution of America. The contextualized narratives that we'll experience this term will address a number of themes being debated within the African-American community. Through our discussion, we'll dis deconstruct power, class, race, sexuality, and politics as they each relate to what may have inspired African-American artists to create and to which many responded in a variety of ways from just before and prior to the 20th century until very near the present. Now, black artists and intellectuals and activists debated whether they should respond to white stereotypes or if they should insist on the right of self-definition, whatever the consequences. Should writers use standard English or dialect to represent speech of black Americans? And how should this language be conveyed on the page? Should black authors and visual artists air dirty laundry or present only the positive images of black people? Although there was a general consensus about the need for black people to represent black people, there was no consensus about what these representations should look like. This is going to be a most exciting exploration, particularly given the national discussions today surrounding race in America. I can't wait to start our journey. See you soon.